gear it up to have a little cookout. See what's gonna happen. So, we have the chicken slicing on both sides. We'll get that done enough that we can take it out and set it aside while we do the veggies. And we have the veggies prepped here, the peppers and tomato and onion and got some corn, we got some diced tomato, we got some mushrooms. Mushrooms optional, and so is the corn. And you can see my dog is patiently waiting down there among one of her favorite foods, chicken. Beautiful, colorful little cheese. With the magic of camera, it'll seem a lot quicker. It smells so good. Very tempting to munch on that right now. So, I will cover that up so nothing gets in there. You know how the bugs are. Move that off. Grease in there. It's been soaked up by the chicken. So, a little bit of power here in the. Getting these cans open. I need to. So we got them diced tomatoes. These tomatoes will help clean that pan out. Look at that. Pans and juices, as you can see, look, they have all come out. And that's what makes gravy or gives anything flavor is the drippings in the pan. So, I'll get that going. There, we've got the heat turned down. Now, I'm just thinking that I kind of messed up there because 
I should have sauteed my veggies first. But no problem. I'll just get my other pans out. One of those noodles. I messed up and I want to go all cast iron. I cannot bear to use anything but. So, we'll correct it. Do what we set out to do to get some veggies in there. Chickens can have that piece. Making it nice and colorful. Here than I need, so I'll pack some of that back up. Always good to have more with you than you need. See my chickens coming? Maybe they don't want to snack. Hey guys, hey Fred. There's some treats around here for you. Nice. Got a little bit of a oh. Yeah, not on my food. Yeah, I like that. Nice little simmer. It's the chicken cafe. <laughs> hey, sorry about the pun. <laughs> yeah, you can add whatever you want to this recipe. I never like to back anyone into a corner when it comes to ingredients. And here I'm wanting to add some mushrooms with a little bit of sauce from them. Mushrooms. And mushrooms it is. When you're out, you always keep some on hand. In the can. The off-grid substitute. Now, we can already see how full my pan is. <laughs> Mosquito bites. Once those noodles are bred, we'll get back to you and get closer to dishing this up. Cleaned off and soaked into that chicken wonderfully. It's going to give it all that extra flavor. Now, it's going to do up some. Spinach and char. See, any of this stuff is optional. That's up to you. What you like to do with your creation. 
you might have a spice or green that you like. And there may be something in here that you don't like and you can just substitute to your heart's content. Okay. Pieces of the chives in there from the garden. Finally, you can use parmesan or old cheddar or mozzarella. Give it that. It's all great on there to melt. Now, if you're at home or you had your camp stove, you could take that off and melt this like a crust on the top. Totally up to you. I love my cheese. I love all things that are not good for you. Cover that over. It is ready. You should always add some margarine or vegetable oil to your noodles so they don't stick like this. I forgot to. But one said, sauce gets on there. That'll soon stop that. So that lovely chicken, lovely chicken with that cheese on there, and tomato, some of those wonderful veggies and sauce on there, just fabulous, look at that. Now, a taste test. Mm. Oh yeah. If you love these ingredients, you're gonna love this dish. Mm. A piece of that chicken in there. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah, dinner's up. Dinner's up, everybody. Is up everybody, time to chow down.